Okay, so hello. So I want to start with textbooks. The problem with textbooks. Oh. <laughs> Um, so, are you happy with the textbooks in your courses? Are your students happy? Probably not, right? They can be expensive. They can be too expensive. Um, but perhaps more crucially, there can be these mismatches between your textbooks and your class. The emphasis can be wrong, the scope can be wrong, the level can be too high or too low or in the wrong direction entirely, right? So, how do we fix it? So cost, that's the easiest thing to solve. Right? Write a textbook, give it away for free. There you go. It's a lot of work, but you know, nobody makes money writing logic textbooks anyway. So, um, but why not go one step further? Why not make it open in the sense of open source so that you give, let instructors who are adopting the textbook write their own material, adapt the material? But that's a lot of work. What if you could make it easy? Okay? So, what if you could have a build your own adventure textbook? Right? You make some choices. You make some choices about focus. You make some choices about scope. You make some choices about level. And you push a magic button. And out you get a customized textbook. The Open Logic Project is an attempt to do just that. That's what we're trying to build. So I'm going to pass to Richard, who's going to talk to you about the technical details of how we're building a choose your own adventure textbook. Okay, um, so our, the Open Logic project is a collaborative project. So we're working with uh, colleagues at University of California Davis, at the University of Victoria, uh, and the University of Illinois, Urbana Champaign, and probably we'll recruit some more um, colleagues to work on that. Um, it's uh, uh, the the book itself, or the text itself, is going to come in in section-sized bits that you can rearrange and uh, um, uh, and mix and match. Um, and uh, the formatting of the text itself will be um, customizable, so not just the typeface or um, the layout of the page or uh, whether you want it, um, for instance, in a, in a printed version or, or, uh, or an ebook version, uh, but also, uh, for instance, the type, the symbols that are used or the, um, the terminology even that's used, uh, you will be able to change um, at, with the flick of a switch, so to speak, uh, without um, doing a lot of uh, um, a search and replace. So we're using an open source um, uh, typesetting and markup language called LaTeX. Uh, it's been around for 25 years. It's, um, uh, it's the, the standard for uh, scientific typesetting, more or less. Uh, and it's itself open source. So, uh, so this, is, uh, this is one part, the, um, uh, the open source using of the, um, of the markup language LaTeX. But LaTeX is also a programming language, and so it, will, it provides the, the, the ability um, to do all of this conditional typesetting and um, programming of the book itself. Uh, we're also using, because this is a collaborative enterprise, we're using a um, collaborative re revision control system called Git, which is also open source. Uh, and um, Git is, um, uh, the, we're, we're using Git as it's hosted on a service, on a free service called GitHub. And GitHub isn't just um, there for the revision control, it also provides a wiki that we use for documenting the project. Uh, it uses an issue tracker, so um, if someone discovers a typo or a mistake uh, or has a suggestion for, for, for a change, for instance, um, they can file a bug uh, and uh, we'll get an email saying, you know, on page so and so there's a typo and this should be an A and not a B and so on. Um, so uh, at the end, we'll have a hopefully a, tr a truly open source text. The entire project is now sort of in the testing phase. Nicole has already used it last term uh, to teach it in uh, Philosophy 379. Um, as we recruit more, uh, more collaborators, um, we'll also get more content. Uh, and the content will, will not just be um, additional um, text, but it will also be, for instance, additional um, problems uh, or exercises that can be in, uh, incorporated in, in, in the text. Um, uh, not just additional text or additional um, modules for uh, covering additional subject areas, but also alternative um, treatments of the, same, um, of the same material that can be then in, your, in this choose your own adventure way. Uh, tailored for your particular audience. We'll hopefully also have pre-compiled PDFs for, uh, for typical cases. Uh, and eventually, 
um, not just additional collaborators who will um, produce more more uh, content, but also uh, crowdsource improvements such as um, uh, discovering mistakes or uh, or uh, just places where we could improve the improve the uh, the prose, for instance, or the or the proofs in the text. Um, the entire thing um, is online, openlogicproject.org, and we're also on Twitter, OpenLogicProj, uh, so please follow us and check it out.